Seating more than 520 passengers in a typical class configuration, the Boeing 747X would have been the world's largest 747 and it would have been a direct competitor to the Airbus A380. Now at the time, Boeing was developing the 747X family to support the 747 and the larger market segment. Now when you have a combination of the 747s with the 777s, then airlines would have been able to support a dynamic long-range market. The fuselage would have been extended by 80 meters, which is about 20% more than the 747-400, but 10% less than the A380. Now, given that the program for the development of the modified family 747Xs would have been much cheaper than the A380, Boeing was hoping to maintain its position in the market of long-haul airliners for large capacity. Now, the plane would have been more economical with an increase in flight performance. It would have featured a reinforced wing of a larger span, an elongated fuselage, and also a new chassis. Now, the number of passenger seats in a free class configuration would have been increased to 504 from 416 compared to the 747 400. Now, with the use of an additional cabin on the upper deck, the passenger capacity would have been increased to 522. Now, in terms of the range, well, that would have stayed the same as the 747 400. But if airlines decided they wanted to use the plane on high-density short-haul routes, then check this, the plane would have been able to carry up to 660 passengers. So that would have beaten any plane of that time in terms of the amount of passengers carried, but that's assuming that the plane is configured in a one-class configuration. So in terms of engines, it was supposed to use the Rolls-Royce Trent 600. Now, three Japanese companies negotiated with Boeing on the production of the plane, since there was a lot of interest from that region, and they wanted to modify the plane's design to suit them as much as possible. So, the design was given a go-ahead, and Boeing announced their intentions to begin their deliveries at the same time as Airbus in the third quarter of 2005. But unfortunately, in 2001, Boeing announced that they would postpone the plans of the creation of the plane indefinitely. Like its predecessor, the plane would have been unable to gain enough interest to justify their production, and it was ultimately cancelled in favour of the 767-400ER. Now, Boeing thought that airlines were suited fine with the 747-400 and other jet planes like the 777. Now, it's quite odd that Boeing cancelled the 747X program since there would have been a rapid increase in the number of passengers travelling later on in the years. Now, although the plane would have been less costly than the A380, it was criticised for not offering a sufficient advance from the existing 400 variant. So, ultimately, the plane never saw past the drawing board, but we did see the arrival of the 747-400ER. So there you go, captains. Unfortunate news of a plane that never made it to the skies. But it's very interesting to read about these planes that never got produced, and wondering how much they would have impacted our aviation life as we know it today. But, I guess, we'll never know. So captains, thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any further information to add, then share it with us in the comments below. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys very soon.